Hi best buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make simple, easy shaker dangles. But first, let's have our shout out to SK, Karen Beth, Christine, Ricky, Jodine, SM, Judy, and Laura. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, here are our <coughs> playing cards. I got to thinking, you know, the shaker cards, what I struggle with is making the base for the shaker card. So why not use our playing cards? Perfect size, perfect, mm, you know, thickness. You can do all kinds of things with them. So let's get two out, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper. Now, I have already started with one of these, but I want to show you how I covered it. And then we'll switch to the dry version so we can continue. I also have some finished ones that I'd like to show you and what I did with the center punch out. Okay, so this is a Roxy Creation Easter printable. I think it's beautiful. I have coffee dyed it, so it did change its color a little bit. I really like it. And what I want to do is I want to cover this uh, card. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it here and see what do I want. I think I want... Yeah, I want that part right there. So I'm just going to trim right here just so we get a piece that is workable under the camera. There we go. Move this out of the way. <coughs> and I would like to use the three, I think. So, and I want my shaker to be up and down. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to get my glue and I think I'm going to use my tacky glue not that it really matters you can use whatever glue that you want so I've done a couple of different versions of this one of them I painted and I'm going to show you what that looks like I really liked how that turned out and so I will show you I'm just looking this has an up and down to it so I'm trying to pay attention to my up and down and I'm just going to smooth my glue out so it doesn't get all <coughs> wrinkly and I'm going to give it a trim right here and I'm just trimming around my card trim around your playing card yeah trim that one around a little too much it will be okay Okay, there we go. Nicely trimmed around. Now, the next one, which is my Queen of Diamonds, I am going to leave her facing up, and I'm going to just uh, put the glue on the back side, or whatever size you want to call this. I don't know if this is the front or back of a playing card, but... On this side, because I want my queen, let's see if this is cut. There's a piece that's cut right there. I think it's going to bother it, so I'm going to have to turn it this way. And I'm just going to smooth it out, just like this. And then, you know, we just trim around, right? You know how to trim around. So you just trim around. Now, because I'm going to have to punch a circle out of this, I've switched to my dried ones. This is exactly the same print as the other one just a different portion of the paper so I have it here and what I would like to do is I want this one to be the top and this one to be the the inside the base now this one has coffee dyed paper on both sides okay so what I would like to do is bring in my punch now a lot of people are going to say where'd you get that punch i got this punch at hobby lobby a long time ago some people have looked for this punch some people have found it and said it's real expensive now 
I don't know. I bought it at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. But it's really a wonderful punch. Now, if you have one of those, um, I don't even know the word right now, but, you know, the machines that you go around and you cut things out, you could do the same thing with this, I think. I don't know if it's too thick or not. Or you can always trace a circle or an oval or whatever you want, the size you want, and then cut it out by hand. That is always an option. You don't have to have a special little machine to do any of this. You can do it all yourself a different way. So I'm just going to figure this out. I always forget which way does this fit. There we go. Fits this way. I always forget. Okay, so I'm just going to position this the best I can in here. I'm just looking to see if it's fairly even. Looks a little crooked to me. So let's see if I can even this up a little bit. There, that might be pretty good. That might be about as close as I can get. So then I'm going to put the top on. And I'm going to have to stand up to get my power. There we go. So what I've got is I've got my... Oh my gosh, look at that. That's really cute. I've got my oval, which I will show you what I did with the oval. Um, and I have got my punch. And oh my goodness, isn't that cute? So cute. Now, because it has black... A lot of black print and in here. I would like to go ahead and ink this in a black. So I am just going to use my black dauber and I'm just going around the edge with my black ink. It's called Tuxedo Black is the name of it. I'm actually doing the inside as well. Don't forget the inside. And I'm going to do the outside. I got some on there. I'll do it the outside. I'll make this the inside and this the outside. Okay. Do the outside as well. Now, you can glue all this together. Because I'm on camera and I can't uh, work with it when it's so sticky it just falls apart or it slides around, I am going to take this to my machine. I've got my piece of acetate. You can see it here. You can hear it. And I'm going to put it right in between, in between my two pieces. And I'm just kind of lining my pieces up. I'm going to put a little paper clip on it to hold them. And I am going to go over to my machine and I am going to sew around these two pieces of paper with my acetate inside. I am not going to sew the top. That's how I'm going to fill it. If you're gluing, you just glue down this side, this the bottom, and the other side. Do not put the glue in the center. Then you're going to have to wait to let it dry before you fill yours. That's why I'm going to sew because I don't have time to wait. We must get this video done. All right, I've sewn around the edges. You can see it better on this side. And now I'm just going to trim my acetate from around the edges. A little bit of the card there, just to clean it up. This piece right here needs to be cleaned up right there. Okay, looking good. Now I am going to fill it. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put, make sure my acetate is on the side of the front card, the one with the hole in it. And I'm just going to insert my bone folder. Can you see this piece of acetate right here? It's on that side. So it's on the same side as your hole. Very important. So then I'm going to get my sequins. I'm using gold sequins and I'm going to put some gold sequins in here. There we go. Oh, 
Very good. Very, very good. Maybe too many. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Is that too many sequins? Maybe just a tad too many. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to sew the top. If you're not sewing, then you would glue the top, right? Isn't this looking good? Okay. All right, so I've got my shaker card all sewn around. And the next thing that I would like to do, make sure this is the, yeah. I'm going to get my hole punch right there. And I'm going to punch a hole right here in the corner. Get it to release. There we are. The holes in the corner. And if you don't have the next piece that I have, you can always use these. And you can color them with your dauber that the same color as you went around the edges with. You can color these, okay? They take color very well, the reinforcement circles. But if you happen to have one of these gadgets, which sets one of these, <laughs> I don't even know what these are called, these little circle things, then you can use this. So I'm going to do this. Hopefully this will work because sometimes this doesn't work the way I want it to. Use my strength, punch it. Oh, it worked. Okay, and there we go. That's all set in there. A gromlet? I'm not sure what we call it. Now, let's decorate. So, I've got a label that I've made myself, and I thought maybe this would be cute here. I have a bow, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, which I put some glossy accents on this and made it shiny. I thought we could maybe put this right here, maybe at an angle, just like that. So, <clears throat> once again, I'm going to bring in my black, which I lined my card with, and I'm going to go ahead and ink around this with the black. And then I'm going to get my tacky glue, and I'm going to glue this down. So, let's see here. Let's get this to go down, the glue. Get it on here, place it right here, and then get my bow, and place it right here. I have to hold it down for a little bit. I also want to put a gem in the center, and I'm going to put a pearl in the center, I think. I think I want a pearl. Maybe I should go with the gold, because it's... It has a gold, uh, here we are, here's a gold, Let's get that quickly out, and get my little pin I used to lift it off, is it lifted off, oh come on, lift off, and then I'm going to place it right in the middle, just like that. Well, this needs to glue down, but look, look how cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get my light bulb safety pin, and I am going to attach one of my, oh, heaven's sakes, one of my sequins on there first, on my safety pin first. So I'm going to put this on first. And then, I don't know if this bow will work because I grabbed it out of my stash drawer. You know, when you start, you were making something and then it didn't work the way you wanted and I put it in my drawer, my scrap drawer, I should call it. Then I'm adding some black lace. So there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and Clip it right through here. There we are. Oh yeah, that's cute, right guys? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Now let me show you some other things that I've made. I made one like this. 
Isn't that pretty? And what I did was I painted my playing card with this matte acrylic paint, quick dry. I bought this for less than a dollar at the craft store. I think you can buy them at Walmart too. And I painted them. And the back I left unpainted because it's the Joker. He happens to be upside down, but <laughs> oh, I think that's really cute. And then what I did out of the center was I painted the center that got punched out with the, it's called Enamels, Superior Coverage Gloss Finish Acrylic Paint. And it's the gold. And then I stamped it with um, a stamp in black. And I put a butterfly on there. I glossy accented the butterfly. And I put a little jewel in the center. Isn't that cute? And then I also painted the back. And that's the card that came out of that one. Now this one, whoops, this one is in the pinks. And I put the shaker things inside. And this one is covered with the pink dyed paper that you could journal on if you wanted to. I think that one's really cute. And the butterflies are also glossy accented with jewels in the center and lace and a little bit of ribbon. For the center that came out of this one, I decorated this one like this. I just took a label. I stamped it with some words. I put a butterfly. I did not glossy accent this butterfly. And I put a jewel in the middle. And so that one's double-sided paper on that one. I you know, I, it's not double-sided paper. I made the circle, the oval, uh, covered it front and back. And then this one is blue that I, I took this and I painted around the outside and the inside of the oval. And then I took a beautiful gold butterfly and a label that I made myself and then some ribbon and some black lace and another butterfly with a jewel inside. I really like that one. And this one has the Queen of Hearts on the back. And that circle looks like this that I decorated. I took the gold paint, I went around, I went around the little miniature postcard and the, the little bow from Shabby Dabby Doo -da. And that one is like that. Oh, you guys, I think these are so much fun. And I think that you will love to make them. Oh my gosh. If you've loved this video, please give me a thumbs up. Now remember, I invite you to enter into my giveaway that will be soon. It's in the playlist. It says Junk Journal Giveaway, Enter to Win. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye now.